Meanwhile, a Bucks County fire company is mourning the loss of one of its leaders who died from COVID-19. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lenz shows us how members of the Tully Town Fire Department are expressing their sorrow at a time of social distancing. Tullytown Borough Assistant Fire Chief Rick Johnson was a firefighter for 33 years. His tragic death makes him one of the latest Pennsylvanians to die due to complications with COVID-19. Bagpipes play for a friend, husband, father, and longtime firefighter Tullytown Borough Fire Company Assistant Chief Rick Johnson. Johnson's family says he died at 50 years old from complications with the novel coronavirus. Uh, I've known Rick um, my whole life. Tullytown Fire Chief and longtime friend Aaron Cohen says Johnson was his daughter's godfather. Uh, he's a great guy. He spent his life down at this firehouse. Bunting now hangs outside. The American flag is at half staff. Johnson, who grew up in Tullytown, leaves behind a wife, son, and daughter. Friday night, Johnson's close friends, all firefighters, stood outside of Jefferson Bucks Hospital, holding his helmet, praying before he took his last breath. We're sorry, buddy, we can't be in there with you. Trust me, we're in there with you. Chief Cohen described what it was like helplessly standing outside. Uh, horrible. Um, seeing nurses in the window, waving down to us, knowing what they're going through knowing what uh, a family member of ours is going through. It, it was disheartening. On Saturday evening, some solace during a final salute in honor of Johnson as firefighters and police from all over Bucks County drove past Tullytown Firehouse as residents looked on because in their eyes, true heroes never die. He was an incredible guy. You could call him for anything. He would come there and do whatever he had to do to help you out. And Chief Aaron Cohen says no other firefighters have shown any symptoms of COVID-19. He says his crews are watching closely. In Tullytown, in Bucks County, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.